now we look at the temperature and volume relationship of a gas. Uh, the relationship that derived from this study is called Charles' law. And if he takes a flexible container and changes the temperature on it at a constant pressure, same amount of gas, so constant moles, he finds a direct relationship. So as temperature increases, our volume increases. So as we increase temperature, our volume is going to increase. If we decrease temperature, our volume will decrease. And for this type of experiment, we have to control temperature and watch volume. Because if we change volume, our pressure will not remain constant otherwise. So keeping it at constant pressure, we change temperature and watch how the volume relationship changes. So this shows a direct relationship. We can write it as T is proportional to volume, or T equals a constant times volume, or temperature over volume is equal to a constant. That constant will, of course, depend on our pressure and moles. So if we're holding the pressure and moles constant, we can use this relationship. Our ratio of temperature over volume under initial conditions will then help us to calculate a final temperature or volume. And this relationship is typically drawn this way, temperature over volume. But volume over temperature is a valid expression also. And this one's a little bit easier when we're solving for volume. This one's a little bit easier when we're solving for temperature. Now, in all of our gas laws, whenever we're dealing with temperature, temperature has to be in Kelvin. Celsius will just not work in these equations. So we have to use the absolute temperature scale. We have to use Kelvin. But our volume just has to have matching units. And we can see that as we solve for temperature over here, we'll have a ratio of volume. If the units are matching, they will cancel off. And uh, we just have Kelvin gives us Kelvin. Or if we solve for volume, we have Kelvin divided by Kelvin cancels off. Whatever unit we put in here are the units that we get out here. So it just has to be matching units. So let's look at a couple problems. So our first volume we're, problem, we're starting off with 20 liters of nitric oxide gas at 27 Celsius and 770 Tor. When temperatures decrease to a minus 23 Celsius at the same pressure, what will the volume be? Well, we're going to need Kelvin. So 27 plus 273 equals 300 Kelvin. A uh, negative 23 plus 273 gives 250 Kelvin. So then we're solving for our volume. So we have our V2 equals V1. And in the relationship, the matching set, one temperature one, volume one, a matching set, they're always going to be divided by each other or on the opposite side of the equation side. So that means our V1, T1 has to be on the bottom, T1 on the bottom, and T2 on top. So we put our numbers in, our initial volume, 20 liters. Our final temperature, 250 Kelvin on top, over the initial full temperature, 300 Kelvin. We run this through our calculator. You see that the volume has reduced to 16.7 meters. So on the second problem, we start off with 15 liters of methane, natural gas, at a minus 10.8 Celsius. We heat it in an expandable container until the volume becomes 42.5. If we hold the pressure constant, what is our new temperature? So we're looking for temperature now. So 
So we solve the equation for temperature. So uh, T2 will be T1 times V2 over V1. But in our, uh, we need our um, temperature converted over to our Kelvin. So 273 minus 273.2. We have a decimal point here. So we want to keep our decimal point minus 10.8 gives us 262.4 Kelvin. So we're going to keep a decimal point throughout these calculations. So we have our initial temperature of 262.4 Kelvin. Our final volume, 42.5. Our initial volume, 15.0. We run this through our calculator, and we end up with 743.5 Kelvin. We put Kelvin in, we get Kelvin out. And this will not work for Celsius. So the question, this is a valid answer for the new temperature if I don't specify units, but I'll just convert it over into our Celsius, so we're going to subtract 273.2. We end up with a 470.3 Celsius. So this ratio works for Kelvin, it will not work for Celsius.